It was a big night for Gonzaga basketball tonight. Both the men's and women's team winning the WCC tournament. Our Brenna Green and Travis Green are live in Las Vegas tonight with a look at how those games went. Good evening, guys. Yeah, today was a joyful day for Zag Nation. It was the first time since 2018 that fans were in the building for both teams winning a WCC championship at the same tournament. We're going to start first with the men. And that game got close near the end, but then Andrew Nemhard and Rashir Bolton, they just took over in this yeah, one. Yeah, they, uh, they had it on lock, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Nemhard hit a, hit a layup, and uh, that gave Gonzaga a four-point lead. St. Mary's had just just cut it to two, and that's when Andrew and Razier went off to the races. The duo dazzled, hitting incredible threes, great and ones. They went on a personal 17 point run that ended up being a 17 to 7 run in the game and nearly spanned for four minutes of game time. And they were the only two Zags that scored during that period. Nobody else was putting the ball in the bucket. Nimhard ended up with 10 points during that span. Bolton added seven. Overall, Andrew scored 19 points and Bolton had 18. Nimhard also the MVP of the tournament. Normally the high point totals come from Gonzaga's bigs, but tonight it was the senior guards turn to shine. You know, it was definitely a lot of fun, you know, just, you know, being out there to be able to help the team, especially on that run. And, you know, uh, you know, seeing shots fall is always, you know, a good part of the game. So, you know, it was fun to, uh, you know, play off him, you know, get things done and get the win tonight. That's how you want your seniors to play. You want them to have those moments. And and uh, and, and I think, you know, they sense that. Again, that defense is really, really hard to score on. It's really hard to score, especially on your first action against it. And I think a lot of those were just kind of tough, really individual plays within the scheme of how we move the ball and uh, and they delivered and uh, you know that's what you hope and expect out of your seniors and you can't just talk about Bolton and Nemhar without mentioning Julian Strother it was almost like watching a relay race between the backcourt and it was Strother starting the race he was the man leading the charge in the first half scoring 13 points to help Zags lead by double digits at the break he ended the game with 16 total going a perfect three for three from beyond the arc. The cherry on top, the Vegas native did it all in front of his hometown crowd. Uh, I mean, it, it's always really nice to be able to come out here and uh, play in front of my friends and family and back in my hometown. So be able to come out here, win a tournament championship and cut down the nets in front of all of them. I mean, that's an experience that I remember for life and I always cherish. And switching gears from the men to the women, a bit of an unexpected win for Gonzaga today over BYU, a team they've really struggled against this season. The final now one, 71 to 59. Yeah, uh, the Gonzaga women were kind of on the bubble. Nobody yeah. knew for sure if they were going to make it or not, but they ended up pulling out the dub. They were in control of this game the vast majority of the time, and now they are NCAA tournament bound. The key stretch of this one happened in the fourth quarter as BYU had cut Gonzaga's lead to just three points. Kaylin Truong hits a three out of the gate to double up Gonzaga's lead. BYU was able to score the next possession, but Melody Kempton back-to-back -back shots, gets the jumper, then gets the layup. She was also named WCC tournament MVP today. That got Gonzaga's lead to seven, and then Kaylin Truong feeling it from three, ring it up. Zags were up 10 with 6.30 left, and BYU wouldn't threaten again. Women are dancing. Now having this win, knowing for sure we're in, and beating, what were they, a 14 seed before this? Uh, ranked. 14 ranked. ranked, yeah. Something like 14 that. 14 yeah. ranked team. That looks really good for us, and to know we're in, and we'll definitely get a higher seed than we would have if we lost, just feels amazing. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, coming in, I think we're just we got together as a team and said, you know, let's not put this. Our fate isn't in somebody else's hands. Like, let's just take care of business. Let's control what we can control. And uh, now we're, we're we got we punched our ticket. Now yeah, so. we're dancing. <clears throat> now we're dancing. <laughs> So what's next? A stress-free selection Sunday for both yep. of these teams. Just a reminder, the women's show not on Monday like in years past. They moved that to Sunday, so we're going to have back-to-back -back selection shows. Right, and the men, well, they are guaranteed pretty much now to be the yeah. number one seed in the men's tournament. That You can watch that selection show on Creme at 3 o'clock yes. on Sunday. The mm -hmm. women, that one will kick off at 5 p.m. Yeah, it's uh, it's not. We're not done here no. in Vegas, though. <laughs> By the way, I am going to be at WSU's game against Cal the Pac in the Pac-12 tournament tomorrow at six o'clock. So be sure to tune in for that.
for now, though, reporting in Vegas, he's Travis Green. I'm Brenna Green, Crime 2 Sports.